Hello friends, welcome to my tutorials. I hope you liked my previous tutorials and if you like them, please do subscribe to my channel. That would help me create more tutorials in future and it would encourage me a lot. Now in today's tutorial, I will make plate for disc brake with AutoCAD. So let's start. First, I will start with circle. And I will make a circle with radius 20 units. Then another circle with radius 12 units. Then another with radius 11 units. And then another one with radius 6 units. Now, after making with these circles, to turn this grid off, it's a bit annoying. After making these circles, I will make a line that will join this and this point on these two circles. Now, I will select circle again and make a circle at midpoint of this line with a radius of 0.8 units. Next, I will make another circle with same center but radius 1.6 units. Now, I will delete this line. Next, I will add it. these two circles using polar array. Select center and in number of items I will specify 3 and close array. Now after performing these operations I will go to construction line and I will make a construction line at an angle of 50 degrees. So I will select angle and specify 50. Now here is our construction line. I will make another construction line at the angle of 76 degrees. And here is our another construction line. And I will exit this command. Now I will use offset and the offset distance of 0.7 units and I will offset this circle inside. Once again I will use offset command but this time I will select offset distance of 2.3 units and I will offset this circle outside at 2.3 units distance. Now use trim and carefully trim the lines which I am showing here. Select this, 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 this one, this, this and this one. Now after trimming all these lines remove remaining portions of these construction lines and remove these remaining circles as well. Now I will fillet these sharp edges. For that select fillet and use a fillet radius of 0.5 units. Select multiple and fillet it. Now it has been filleted. Once again we will use array here but before arraying this I will join all these parts into a single unit using 
join the command. Join. Now you can see this these parts have been joined into a single unit. Now I will mirror it. Select this and mirror it. Mirror it about this central line. Now I will make array of this similarly array, polar array, select center and number of items 3 and close array. And you can see our basic outline for this disk is almost ready. Now our final step, in our final step, I will make an arc from starting from here. This will be our random arc. We don't have to be very accurate while drawing this arc. And here is our arc. You can make any adjustments if you like in this arc after making it also. Like this. Now I will make a small circle on this arc with radius 0.8 units. And I will array it using path array. Select path array, select your object and press enter and select path. After selecting path, I will go to this measure and select divide here and here number of objects 5 and close this array. Now you can safely remove this arc. I will select all these small circles and again use polar array. Use this center and array with number of items 6. Close this array. Now here our disk plate is ready. Now we have to convert it into 3D. We have our 3D uh, 2D profile complete. Now select this home button and now use press pull. Use press pull to select this space and press pull this area up to 0 0.5 units. Now go to this small region, this small one and press pull it 0 0.3 units. Once again go to this region and press pull it 0 0.5 units. Now we are missing one small unit to press pull and that is this, this ring. We have three such rings so I will use multiple and select all three rings. This one is the second ring and the third one. Now press enter and press pull them up to height of 0.3 units. To make it clearly visible, I'll select shaded view. Now, here is our display. Oh, you can see that here we have missed something. So, use press pull again and press pull it up to 0.3 units. Now, our display is complete. All we have to do is render it in 3D. As I have already said in the previous videos, you can render it with AutoCAD or a third party software. I generally use Keyshot and the rendering which you will see on the YouTube video of the, this tutorial is rendering done with Keyshot. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day.